All right, next section, we're going to talk about how do we get central tendency and dispersion if we have grouped data. So here's what I mean by this. Uh, oh, yeah, so here are the um, objectives. You've got a couple homework questions about approximating mean and standard deviation from group data. I'm not going to test you on that. Uh, and then computing this something called the weighted mean. That is a very important skill, uh, and you will be tested on that. So suppose I have this grade distribution. Well, all I have are the letter grades. Not letter grades, but all basically letter grades. So A, B, C, D, uh, F. So I, all I know is there were eight students that got 90 or higher, 13 students that got 80 to 89, etc. And I want to do approximate the average test grade. So I don't know in this 80 to 89, I don't know exactly what grades those were, and I want to do an average. What I could do, um, and this isn't perfect here, we're going to talk about the way your textbook does and then talk about why, what might be better. So what your textbook suggests is basically to just treat each one of these like the midpoint. So 80 to 89 is basically between 80 and 90, the midpoint is 85. 70 to 80, right, it's technically 70 to 79, the midpoint would be 75, etc. Now, this is really better for continuous data because for these particular data, exam scores, I would argue that I should probably use 64, 74, because it's 70, 71, 72, 73, 74 is the fifth one, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, maybe even 74 and a half would be better. Um, so it's a little, it's an approximate, it's an approximation. So um, your textbook recommends, your, the author here recommends to average the two adjacent lower uh, class limits. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pretend though that all of these eight A's are all 95's. And then all of these 13 are 85's. And so then we're just going to multiply those and we get these weighted ones and we'll add them all up, we get 256. And so to get the average grade, we'll take that total weighted grade and divide by the total frequency, which was 31 students. And so we get about 82.7. So that's a way to approximate from, um, from grouped data. If, if I have a table and I don't have the raw data, it's a way to get an approximate average. Uh, there's a similar strategy for the standard deviation. Um, if you really want to see that worked out, um, I would just uh, go see the online lesson, which is the, the web page that I made that uh, is linked in uh, D2L and in my math lab, and you can see that on my stat lab. Second, um, the weighted mean, and I actually had to use this interesting, and as I was doing it, I thought, oh, this will be a perfect weighted mean example for my stats class. So we gave a survey of ECC faculty, uh, and we had several different priorities. We had eight different priorities, and we wanted to, them to rank each priority, one through eight. And so what I ended up with was each, um, uh, just a table with how many people did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for each different objective. So what I have right here is a list of this priority where one of the priorities we asked them to comment on was, do they want us to make recommendations to the administration in the formulation of academic policies and procedures? And so here are the number of people that responded for each rank. So we got one, two, three, four through eight. So not many people did that as a very low priority, but you know most of the people one, two, or three. So the question is, well, what's the average rank for this? I, I can't just average these ranks because there's different numbers in each one. So it's very similar to the grouped data, where what I'm going to do is just just weight them. So multiply one times 23, uh, multiply two times 28, weight them all. Add all those up, the total weighted rank is 412. And then to find the average rank, I'll just divide by the total frequency. I had 125 people respond to my survey. So the average weight was about 3.3. That was the average weight for that particular priority. So very similar idea to the grouped mean, getting the mean from grouped data, uh, but slightly different.